We all share a common vision when it comes to where and how we would like to live our lives and raise our families. We have dreams of the perfect profession, worthwhile work, a high quality of life, and a safe and enjoyable community in which to live. We all want to live, work, and play where crime is low, schools are outstanding, and business opportunities are abundant. A place where we can have easy access to nature, wild lands, parks, and recreation. Presently, many communities across the country in their attempt to grow and prosper have lost their focus on what residents and employers need and expect. Failing schools, high crime rates, and dense, sprawling populations with little open space or safe places to recreate are causing many people to replan or rethink their community's quality of life. The desire to return to what was lost doesn't have to take a lot of time, and it doesn't have to be costly. It's as easy and as close as Florida's Panhandle. Located less than half an hour south of Florida's capital, Tallahassee, Wakulla County is truly one of our nation's last, best, natural places. With a population just over 25,000, Wakulla offers the rural charm that's hard to find elsewhere. What makes Wakulla unique is that over 75% of the county's land is protected natural area. From the expanse of Apalachicola National Forest to the St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge, as well as other state park lands in between. Over 85% of the Gulf Coastline is National Wildlife Refuge and Estuary. This is important and distinctive for a small county that's just beginning to find its way to becoming the last best natural place in Florida to live. In Wakulla, nature, protection, and development just seem to belong together. One example is the small town of St. Mark's. It's home to the St. Mark's Trail State Park, which starts in Tallahassee and winds its way to the confluence of the St. Mark's and Wakulla rivers. There you'll find evidence of historic Fort San Marcos, which was constructed by the Spanish in the 1500s and today is a state museum. St. Mark's is rebuilding to meet the needs of its residents and visitors. The Villages, a residential and retail mixed-use community, is underway and there, residents can easily walk or ride bikes to restaurants, shopping, or the St. Mark's Trail State Park. The county's crown jewel is Wakulla Springs, the world's largest and deepest natural springs. It is the headwaters of the Wakulla River, which flows through the St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge and into Appalachie Bay. There, it renews the watershed and estuary with up to a billion gallons of fresh spring water each day. Wakulla Springs is a Florida state park and with its natural beauty attracts tourists from around the world. Visitors are welcomed with glass bottom and jungle boat tours, a great park area for hiking and picnics, and a wonderful recently restored antique hotel and restaurant. The St. Mark's Wildlife Refuge attracts nature-based visitors as well. Visitors are drawn to the historic lighthouse and coastal beauty, while others spend time wildlife viewing, bicycling, and hiking along the winding forest trails. The over half million acre biologically diverse Apalachicola National Forest is home to hundreds of species of birds and other native creatures. Dozens of rivers, creeks, and springs start in or meander through the forest. There are numerous lakes and wetlands that provide a safe haven for abundant wildlife, often miles away from any evidence of humankind. The Florida Trail is a popular pathway for hikers who visit the county on foot, leaving nothing but footsteps. As part of the National Scenic Trail, it points them south to the Florida Keys, and as far north as Canada. Just as precious as the area's nature and biodiversity is its small town charm, exemplified in places with names like St. Mark's, Sop Choppy, and the coastal town of Panacea. Panacea was named for its healing natural springs and is now home to the Wakulla Visitor Center. 
There, the county hopes visitors will be inspired to consider Wakulla for their vacation or even permanent home. Known for its beautiful dark water river and Mayberry-like atmosphere, Sopchoppy takes visitors back to a simpler time of small town downtowns where children wander freely, people still fish on the banks of the city park, and dogs lie idly in the street. Wakulla, however, is not locked in the past. There are various enterprise zones that assist new businesses in locating or relocating to the area. The Economic Development Council, Chamber of Commerce, and Tourism Development Council are anxious to demonstrate the county's unique mix of business and environment. The overall government-owned property in the county exceeds 75 percent of the county. So forever it should stay as a nature-based kind of environment and a wonderful place to live and recreate and hopefully a good place to work. There are about 14,000 uh, people in the workforce today. Uh, of those people, about uh, a little less than 5,000 folks work here in the county and another uh, 9,000 plus uh, drive to Tallahassee to work. Uh, we have an interest in trying to turn that around a little bit and provide more places for people to work here in the county as well as a wonderful place to live. The Inn at Wildwood, a nature-based lodge and conference center, is opening its doors in Wakulla. It was planned, developed, and funded by local community members. Wakulla Bank has always been involved promoting Wakulla County. When Joe Berry approached us about a nature-based motel, we thought what a unique way to assist travelers and visitors in our community. The Inn will be a great destination. Our county has so many wonderful natural places to explore, such as the St. Mark's Wildlife Refuge, the Apalachicola National Forest, Wakulla Springs, and the St. Mark's Trail. We think Joe Berry has a great idea, and he will make a very good banking partner for Wakulla Bank. Nature is a serious business in Wakulla, and the business community understands that Wakulla is all about being one of Florida's last, best natural places. Wakulla's public school system is consistently one of the top in the state and has set many standards with innovative practices and policies. Wakulla is the first county to begin an academic boosters program assisting students with funding for higher education. Back in the early 70s, an academic boosters association was formed and that association was about promoting academics here in Wakulla County. It was kind of a foundation for scholarships and still exists today. Uh, they provide a lot of opportunities for our kids to go on to further themselves in higher education. Okay, here's some interesting facts that I found out about earthworms. I think one of the successes of our school system has to be our teachers. Here in Wakulla County, they're respected as professionals. We recently had a teacher move from another county and said this is the first time in 15 or so years that she'd been appreciated as a teacher. In this county, we've been able to build newer educational facilities and because of that process, we have some of the newer schools in the state and probably rank in the top 15 as having the newest educational facilities in the entire state. Another thing that we're very proud of in our district is the high graduation rate. We have one of the highest in the state and we also have a very high percentage, approximately 65 to 70 percent of our students that go on to post-secondary education. As for the future, Wakulla County is growing and attracting visionary leadership. One example is the sustainable NG Wade community, featuring residential, retail, and commercial interaction. The Wade community will have parks, recreation, trails, and educational facilities, a model development for this region. We hope you'll visit our community and invest your vision of home and business, where the quality of life is high, community is valued, and nature is enjoyed, respected, and protected. Come join us in North Florida's Wakulla County.